let's go check it out, guys. Good morning and welcome to Luke Jones the Other Way. Today we're in the northern Russian city of Archangel, just south of the Arctic Circle. It's early November, but it's getting a little bit cold already. Snow will be here in a few weeks, but that's not going to stop us from showing you around. There's well over a thousand years of history here. Behind me, you can see a certain Peter the Great. Now he appears on the 500 ruble notes in Russia, as well as a lot of other places. And he's somebody else who uh, has a bit of prominence in this town. So uh, off we go. Behind me is the northern Dvina River, which flows out to the White Sea. Now, Archangel's Achilles' heel is probably the fact that this river freezes over for about five months of the year, and it's one of the reasons why eventually St. Petersburg took prominence over Archangel, but more of that a little bit later. Well, Archangel is definitely a year-round destination, and the close to sub-zero temperatures are not going to let a few hardy souls be distracted from having their beach action. Now, we're just south of the White Sea here, but why go all the way up there when you've got a beach right here on your doorstep? Now, Archangel was probably best known for its heroics during the Second World War as one of the entry points for the Arctic convoys, which was where the Allies would help supply the Soviet Union on the Second Front. So there were many Allied soldiers who came to Archangel and also to Murmansk to deliver supplies. So this is where you have it, one of the connections between Archangel and the United Kingdom, and there's more to come. Now this is what we call zero kilometer square, or something like ground zero, the very, very center of Archangel. Now it gives you some sort of idea as to how remote we are. You've got a sign telling you how far away everything is. Moscow's well over a thousand kilometers away, as is St. Petersburg. The furthest away here within Russia is Vladivostok, 10,000 kilometers. You can actually get there by train in just over eight days with one change. This is the central square in Archangel. You've got the highest building in the city, 24 storeys. I've never been up to the top. Not sure if you're allowed because it's for administrative purposes. Now, I'm sure the views are great. Maybe we'll get up there one day. But more importantly, over here on my left, you've got the coat of arms of Archangel, where you've got Michelangelo protecting the city from the devil. Let's hope he keeps him away. Well, it wouldn't be Russia if there wasn't a statue of Len somewhere here in town, slap bang in the middle, anyway. But got a little bit cold after walking around all morning, so uh, let's go and get a hot drink. Well, this looks like a great place for a coffee, um, maybe a lunchtime snack even. OK, so what can you recommend us? Um, well, we have a nice variety of desserts. I can see and that. I would recommend you this thing called shushik. Shushik? What's yeah. that? This is um, a bun with a whipped cream inside. Very delicious. It's our top rated thing. Right, well, we've got to have one of those. Very delicious with whipped cream. Can't go wrong there. Now, tell us a little bit about uh, life in Archangel, Arhangelsk. What do you like most about living here? Well, it's, to be honest, it's a tough question because I was born here, my family is here, my parents and my friends mostly live there. So it's a very uh, warm place for me. I know that the city is not the best, probably. Warm place? It's I mean, cold yeah, but uh, as I said, I was born here, so 
um, the cold never bothers me. <laughs> you get used to it, I suppose, yeah? Yeah, so, I don't know, I like this place. I have a lot of memories about it, so... Fantastic. So, what we're going to do is we're going to finish up in a moment and uh, Lera is going to take us for a little walk along uh, the road to see some of the more touristy parts of town. Okay, so Liera, where have you brought us now? Well, this is the main walking street in Arhangelsk. It's called Tumbarovka, so we will walk there. Okay, great. Well, what's there? Well, there are a lot of old wooden houses that were moved from all over the Russia. Okay, let's go and have a look. Yeah, let's go. Okay, Liera, I know that Archangel, Arhangelsk, is your hometown, but I'm going to tell you something now which maybe you don't know. Okay, okay. excited. <laughs> All right, now, there's a lot of connections between England and Archangel, yeah. okay? I talked earlier about the Arctic convoys during the Second World War, okay? But interestingly, although four American presidents were assassinated while in office, only one British Prime Minister was ever assassinated, okay? This was Spencer Percival in 1812. Now, you're probably thinking, all right, what's this got to do with Archangel? Well, quite a lot, it turns out, because the man who shot him, okay. John Billingham, also English, he was here in Archangel in the early 1800s, oh, wow. and he tried to commit a fraud through Lloyd's Register of Shipping, he insured a boat, which disappeared, and he tried to collect the money, and basically they didn't pay, and the British told the Russians to keep him here okay. in prison for many years. Finally, he managed to get out to Petrograd, St. Petersburg, okay. and eventually got back to England. And he tried to collect for loss of earnings, to collect his money back. It didn't work. So finally, in 1812, he went and shot the Prime Minister. Oh, wow. So there you have it. That is Archangel's connection <laughs> to England. Did you know that? No. <laughs> well, anyway, that's one for future pub quizzes, guys. Yeah.